Jeff Klein. I don't have any idea who you are, and I bet you if you didn't write Jeff Klein on your name tag at reunions, no one would know who the fuck you are either. That's part of the problem, dude. Not my fault. And you said that I was the most arrogant motherfucker that you'd ever met. Yeah, I, I, I guess I might have been, except I was so insecure, I thought it was ugly, because when I looked at women, I looked kind of like I do now, and I would look at them, and they would look away, and I'm like, oh my fucking God, dude, am I fucking <laughs> going to be sentenced to jack off thinking about them and, you know, the moms of some of my teammates, you know, for the rest of my life? Um, <laughs> I guess not. Anyhow, uh, yeah, let me counsel you a little bit, all right, Jeff? I heard, I read that you said to my son, are you threatening me, punk? Um know this, Ryan Austin Quinn in Just Punching right now fucks Conor McGregor up, okay, no doubt I gave my son the exact same treatment that I gave Scott Smith, okay, and turned Scott Smith into a beast, he went to the UFC I don't know all the things that he had to do behind closed doors to get there, Tana <laughs> people hear things but, um I can honestly say this, Jeff Klein, that there wasn't one time when I was afraid, okay, uh, of Scott Smith. Not one time. I was a lot younger, okay, but two days into teaching my son what was up, uh, he was off to the fucking races, is bigger, taller, okay? He's 20. He's going to fill into his frame, but he has blinding hand speed and he has power and at 6'1 155 he fucks Conor McGregor up right now and I put this piece of shit uh, badass road monster Mazda 929 nigga it has a Ford 3 point liter big block fucking 6 cylinder 24 valve uh, engine that smoked a couple of asshole Lexuses because they didn't want to get the fuck out of the way and then put me off and fucking took off. And I'll tell you what, nigga, I'm glad that I don't have that Mustang anymore. It was a blessing in disguise that I forgot to replace the oil or someone let the oil out and I threw a rod because I wouldn't have ever made the transition to this fucking beast that kicks its ass. So this car is ahead of its fucking time. And pink slips, nigga. I'll come down there and, and it will be non-bloody and you'll walk away with a loss in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? But it could be a lot worse. It could be that somebody had a friend that had a friend that was a hooker and they all have friends too. And some look pretty good, man. And bang! You know what? Oh my God! You're thinking, I can't believe this is happening to me. She's giving me the time of day, you know what? All the way into where you fall asleep, nigga. And I'm standing over you when you wake up and it's all good, okay? You might have some fear in your eyes, okay? It happens. People will shit their pants. You know what? I've seen it in films, man. Anyway, um, yeah. So be careful what you say about my son because he would fuck you up very badly. Um, yeah, and, and since you're so much older, dude, uh, who were you in high school, okay? Did I beat up one of your friends? Uh, did I? Uh, I know that I didn't fuck any of your girlfriends because you probably didn't have any, and I didn't get laid till I was 18. I thought I was ugly. You know what? I have made up for last time a little bit too much. I fucked up. Uh, my ex is so exquisitely fucking beautiful. All right better looking in pictures sometimes, but yo, I couldn't believe my luck when I married a former homecoming queen. Oh my God, my breath was taken away when I saw her walking on the steps. And then yeah, I fucked that up, methamphetamine, wanted to fuck anybody but her. Um, you're right, I'm a fuck up. Uh, I admit it, and I also admit this, punk. Uh, how would you have acted or reacted if you were potentially the best that's ever fucking been <laughs> in anything that you did have you ever done anything in your life that was the best <laughs> I'm not talking those times when 
the females that you were trying to pleasure lied to you, homeboy. They were just making you feel good, okay? <laughs> or that's part of the negotiation process you did when you hired a hooker, okay? Or were you married? I don't even know. That's beside the point completely. Uh, fact is, fact is, homeboy, I, I feel bad that your parents were even allowed to breed you, okay? So you lived the life of, what? If I looked in the mirror and saw you every day, nigga, what about, I mean, how would I react, you know? I thought I did pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, physically, a big white boy that is savage and knocking people out of games or concussions, but faster than every nigga on the field and running them down. Oh, it's all good, yeah. So I wouldn't go back into the, uh, into the lottery line, okay, getting genetics. I bet you, you would in a second, okay? I bet you have looked at me in the past and thought, why did he get that, okay, and not me? I bet you, oh boy, a lot of things, and I bet you should shut your fucking mouth right now when you're ahead because a 20-year-old that loves me dearly is pissed, homie, and if he runs across you, um, you're going to say and do things that will get your ass fucking kicked. Trust me. <laughs> I'd like to see it on film.